folks, Scootin' Full here, coming to you aboard my trusty PCX. Need to put something up, so I figured I'll try this. A couple of very simple things. As a motorcyclist, that are, seem stupid, but this is my list. That isn't really a top five. It is not something that is necessarily cohesive. It's just a few things that I've found that are very helpful as a motorcyclist. The number one thing that I have found helpful as a motorcyclist is to always wear some kind of camera. Now, a lot of people say, oh, cameras, they're only out for attention, etc. Of the hours of video that I've taken, I have submitted maybe five videos to the attention getting sites like Moto Madness and things like that. So in case that wasn't obvious, I was saying you should have a camera. The reason for a camera is it covers you. If you're in a situation, and this is the same with having a camera dash mounted in the car. First thing I recommend, and even if you're not going to be doing anything with YouTube or anything like that, just get yourself a camera. In some areas, avoid mounting it on your helmet. There are some places that will not allow you to mount a camera on your helmet. The reason for this is they have rules about mounting things to the helmet, about affixing things to the helmet. Now, this is not affixed to the helmet. It is mounted with screws that have a clamp. So it's not actually a permanent fixture to the helmet. There is a well-known vlogger, Walter Riffick, for instance, who has various toys, Legos and other things attached to his helmet. That would actually be illegal in most places because those things could come off, the glue could fail, whatever. Or if you were in an accident and those items are to get in someone's eye or whatever, a sharp piece flies, you could be liable. So that said, I still recommend a camera of some sort. You can mount it on the bike. I have a mount for a GoPro. I have actually done a video with that, but I haven't posted it yet, where I just went down various country lanes. I think I went down River Road again. I love River Road. And I just took video of that through my windscreen. It was beautiful. And then I'm working on the process of setting it to music. Again, understanding that I know this is basic accessories that I'm talking about. However, you can get a basic camera for not too much. This camera is about $100. As such things go, not so bad. If you're really desperate, you can do what I originally did, which is buy something off of Amazon. I think I paid 80 bucks for a setup that came with all of the knockoff GoPro mounts. Again, still recommend something a little bit better, something, this is a Cena. So you can get something cheap, certainly. And I know I'm talking about basic things here, but I do think that this is a basic accessory that no one should be without. The main reason for having a camera though is to cover yourself. So just make sure you have one on your bike, maybe a body cam, helmet cam if you'd like. The good thing about a helmet cam for someone like me is when I turn my head, you can see what I'm seeing. It's a good thing. And the second thing that I think that you should never be without as a rider, bungees. I love bungees. This is something specific to the PCX, but if you do not have a hook for carrying things, bungees are great. Now, again, this is a scooter thing. Scooters often have a hook right here. The PCX, at least the first gen, and I'm pretty sure the second gen, do not have a hook for carrying bags and such. Part of the reason for that is this step through area doesn't really lend itself well to having a hook. So what I've done is just take a bungee and then I can just hook it up right here. If I'm carrying a bag, I can strip this bungee through the straps in the bag and it makes an excellent holder for those things. There's enough tension on it because of the length of the bungee that it won't come apart on me. Another thing that I use the bungees for. Now oh, there's a watermelon I got for my wife at Roots. I have two that I use every day to strap my coffee in place in the back here because my coffee cup will not fit in my cup holder. It's a useless cup holder at this point. Probably gonna take it off and replace it with a regular X grip. The other thing that they are useful for is the one thing that I think no motorcycle should ever be without. Very old school about this and that is a crate. I got this crate at Walmart. Typical rear trunk for any kind of motorcycle is going to cost you well over $100. A typical GV trunk, two to 300, maybe $400, depending on the trunk. Not bad things. The problem with the trunk is they have a lid on them. This does not have a lid. The sky is the limit. As far as I want to stack stuff within reason, I can do so. Now that said, there are downsides to a crate. Number one, the same thing that makes it so versatile is the very thing that makes it not so good in the rain. So if you have a crate, having some kind of cover to put on top of it is great. Mine got stolen. Anyway, again, we have the bungees. The bungees hold the crate on. 
I need to replace these bungees. They've been out in the weather for a little while, but they hold the crate in place. So you can also use zip ties, but you know, a couple of other things that I have my particular motorbike outfitted with, I have LEDs, those are good, but those three tools, I would say no motorcyclist should be without. Number one, the camera, number two, bungees, and number three, a crate. Agree or disagree, that's whatever. I just wanted to have something to talk about, and I've had something to talk about. So I hope you all are well. Be safe, be blessed, be well, and thank you for watching. Scootin' Fool, out.